Hi everyone, welcome back to Just Julia's Day Off. Today we are celebrating the new year, and what better way to celebrate the new year than with your favorite holiday bites. So we're making a stuffing bite with cranberry sauce, a mini turkey meatball with a mushroom gravy, and a roasted potato and cheddar sandwich, all super good. So if you wanna see some more videos, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell. For the stuffing, we're going to start with a very classic mirepoix. So we have carrot, onion, a leek, garlic, and shallot. We're going to sweat those off and then combine those with our other stuffing ingredients. We want to make sure that we cut each ingredient into little teeny tiny bite sizes. Okay, now we're going to do two stalks of celery. So I don't know a ton of people that use leeks for stuffing, but I started using it and it's just so good. A good leek, I think, is essential to the perfect stuffing. We're gonna cut in half and take off the outer peel. Just throw it out. And then we're going to cut into thirds. And then again, little cubes. So leeks are part of the onion family. And traditionally they're like, you know, used for braising um, or roasting, which is perfect for our stuffing because we're going to be roasting it. So we're gonna do half a shallot. You can use whatever type of onion you'd like. You can use the red onion, white onion. And we're gonna cut it just like we would cut a normal onion. Slice widthwise and then lengthwise and then right across. <sighs> I need a beer. Two cloves of garlic. So taking off the end and then smashing with the side of your knife so that allows the skin to come off really easily. And then we'll do the other one. So when you're slicing something fine that's really small, let it sit flat on the cutting board as it naturally would, and then start cutting it from that position. Your fingers are like this, so you're not cutting your knuckles. And then since when it gets to this size, because it's so small, you can flip it over to the other side so it's flat, and that makes it a lot easier to slice the little remaining end. Okay, so that is the start of our stuffing. This is our mirepoix. Now we're going to saute it with some olive oil. You want to use a large saute pan so that it just goes a little bit quicker and then you get a nice caramelization and the veggies don't steam. So a little bit of olive oil and then right in. And then as always, we're gonna season with our pepper. salt, give that a little toss. While the mirepoix is sautéing, we're gonna get all the other things ready for our stuffing. So I have about 200 grams of ground pork. Again, use whatever ground meat that you'd like, turkey, chicken, beef, anything will really work. Now I'm gonna add in some pecans, a little bit of rosemary, and some cranberries. I like a little sweetness in there. And our bread. So this, this is dried focaccia cubes. So I just took some focaccia, cut them into cubes, dried them in the oven, but you can use any type of bread cubes. Then we're going to add one egg for the binder. Sometimes you need to add two eggs. It just depends how much stuffing you have, but one normally works. And then chicken stock. So we're gonna start with like a quarter cup of um, chicken stock, see how that absorbs. Sometimes you have to add more. So we're gonna let that sit for a minute. Check on our veggies. And one of the essential stuffing flavors is sage. So you wanna make sure you don't forget to add that in. I'm going to use a fair bit, cause I like sage. And also if you're just eating a bite of this, you don't have to be afraid of bold flavors. 
So just like the basil, you're gonna kind of just stack it up on top of each other, roll it up, give it a little chiffonade, and then right into the stuffing. Okay, so that's how you want your veggies to look. Nice and caramelized, nothing's too burnt. And now normally if you were stuffing the stuffing inside of a turkey, you would let everything cool down. Like you wouldn't add this as it is hot, but because we're gonna put it right in the oven, it's fine. Okay, give that a stir. Wow, holiday smell, check. Now we have a, this is like an eight inch casserole dish. You can also use a loaf pan. We're just gonna put it right in. And then this is really important. You wanna make sure you even it out and you press it right to the edges so that once it cooks, we can cut it into really um, condensed squares. So now this is going into a preheated oven at 350 for about 40 minutes. This is what the stuffing is gonna look like once it's all done. And this has been completely cooled. So what we're gonna do now is take it out of our baking dish. Flip it over onto a cutting board. Might have to give it a couple taps. Ooh, all in one piece. Okay, so that's what you wanna see here. So now we're just going to slice into bite-sized cubes. Again, very important that this is cooled. Um, if you try to cut into it when it's warm, everything will just fall apart. Okay, so now we're gonna put each square back onto a baking sheet, and these are going to be reheated at 350 for about 15 minutes. So now it's time for plating. So I have this long narrow plate here, which I think looks really cute and it's a little bit elegant. Um, and I have some cranberry sauce. So I'm just going to do a dollop of cranberry sauce right down the center. Then we're going to take each stuffing bite with a toothpick. And then we're just going to plate them right down the center. So every bite gets a little bit of cranberry sauce. Then I'm just going to garnish with a little bit of arugula because I feel like this needs a little bit of greenery. And there you have it, our stuffing bites. Liz gets 50% credit. Our next holiday bite is an ode to the potatoes. So we're doing a mini roasted potato and cheddar sandwich. It's pretty easy, so let's get started. We have about a pound of baby uh, potatoes and we have red, yellow, and purple. So just like this on a baking sheet, we're going to roast them off with just some olive oil and salt and pepper. So this is gonna take about 20 minutes or so in the oven. And once they're roasted, they're gonna look just like this. If you wanna know when they're ready, pierce them with a fork and if they easily go in, you're good. So to make them a sandwich, we're going to take a potato and again, let it sit flat as it naturally does sit flat. Don't try to cut it in a different way where it rolls around. So just like that, right in half, take a piece of aged white cheddar, just stick it right in the middle, have your skewers nearby, and then you're just Screwing them all the way in. That's your little potato bite. <laughs> now it's time for the sriracha sour cream. And it's really just what it sounds like. It's two ingredients, sriracha <laughs> and sour cream. <laughs> We're just gonna put a big dollop right on the end, just streak it all the way through. And now we're going to place our cute little potato and cheddar sandwiches right on top. I just think this is literally like the cutest thing ever. Is it just me? Now for our last bite, we're doing a ode to the turkey. So we're doing mini turkey meatballs. So we have here about 200 grams of ground turkey. 
We have like a quarter cup of uh, chopped parsley, same amount of Parmesan cheese, and then same amount of breadcrumbs. All that's going in. We're using one egg to bind, and then generous amount of salt and pepper. Could these be louder? Now, I like to use a spoon first to start to get this incorporated, but eventually we will have to use our, our hands to, to form them into balls. So we're gonna do little guys. So the great thing about these is because they're so small, they only take about 15 minutes in like a 400 oven, which is pretty quick. And this is what they look like when they're done. To pair with the meatballs, I'm gonna do a chanterelle mushroom gravy. So I have some really beautiful chanterelle mushrooms here. Uh, they're in season right now, so they're really easy to find. We're just going to cut it in half and then in quarters, so about this size. Now we're going to saute the chanterelles. You wanna make sure the pan is nice and hot before you add the chanterelles because you don't want the chanterelles to steam. You want them to get some nice color on them. So that takes a little bit of extra heat. Some pepper. And a little bit of salt. We're gonna give that a second to get some color and then we're going to deglaze with some white wine. Now our mushroom gravy is all ready, so we're going to plate just like the same as the others, right down the center. Really does help if you have uh, all of the same type of serving plate. Just makes everything look really nice and uniform. So that's going right down the center. And then we're going to skewer each meatball and put it right in the middle. And there you have it, our turkey bite with our mini turkey meatballs with mushroom gravy. I think this deserves a cheers. Who's ready? <laughs> That's a nice one.